Okay. Listen, uh, about the other night. Listen, if you're going to apologize, you I... You don't want to hear I do, every single word. I just wanted to tell her to lash out at somebody, and you happen to be standing there. I wish I'd handled things differently. That's your idea of I'm sorry? I am sorry. And you were right. I did want to make you cry, but the only person I wanted to hurt was myself. I hope you believe that. And that if you feel like you don't want to have anything more to do with me, I wouldn't blame you. I'm still here. Why don't we get to business? We've accomplished one mission, and um, I have a list of all the other companies that we need to work on also. Look, Kelly, can we just put this on hold for a while? Robert, why? We're on a roll here. I need some time off. I thought maybe you'd want to share it with me. Oh? What did you have in mind? Something completely different. I just had a lecture from our uh, righteous district attorney about ridding Santa Barbara of the likes of me. It made me want to go right out and join the mob. Well, he should have talked to me first, because I would have told him what a contrary bastard you are and how you always do the opposite of what you're told. Well, that sounds like a description of you, Kelly. Words of a feather. You may be right about that. I know I'm right. That's why I understand you so well. I know you think that no one will ever understand you the way Eden does. Don't you mean the way Eden did? Listen, did you happen to notice that uh, long silver stretch limo on my front? How could I miss it? I think it's a bit ostentatious, do you? It's a bit. I'm good. That's exactly the effect I was striving for, because you and I are going to have ourselves a thoroughly ostentatious day, and with any luck, a hell of a good time. I got everything all set up. You game? What are we waiting for? All right. 